Hi there, my name's Daniel and I'm speaking to you for Gondola Writing, Art and Design. Today we're going to cover this nice piece of kit from Google SketchUp called the Follow Me Tool. And this can be used for example, skirting boards like this one, um, spheres and cables and wires. And these could also work as tails. So I'm going to start start with the skirting board and you can do this by drawing a rectangle to begin with and this gives you the outline that you're going to be needing and I'm going to zoom in a bit and draw another rectangle and make sure you draw this on the correct plane then I'm going to draw this shape and this will change um, for different types of skirting board and you'll need to make sure you go and look at the skirting board you'd like to make to make sure you have the right end face because that's all this is use the eraser tool to delete those edges and I might just move this up a little bit now you'll notice that you could use push-pull but when you go around the corners it doesn't quite work so you use follow me which is over here this is push pull this is follow me and you hover over till you get the blue spotty pattern click and you draw over that outline and this leaves you with nice corners which is exactly and exactly the type you'd need for a skirting board like that nice 45 degree bevel you'll notice that at the end I haven't quite lined it up and this is one of the problems with follow me you need to make sure it's absolutely perfect before you stop that's it's drawn all four corners correctly triple click to select everything and I'm just going to delete that next I'm going to be doing the cables and if you select the arc tool which is this one over here you can draw um, a few interconnected arcs now you notice it goes blue here and that's creating the perfect arc effectively so you just double click and it makes it don't click and then drag because then you'll have to start over again then go to this end plane over here and draw a circle now what you're going to have to do is you go up here until it goes green if you hold shift it maintains it on that plane and then you can draw the circle that you need and that's drawn it on this plane here next take follow me and follow the outline you notice it's a bit um, of an oval so if you triple click again use the scale tool which is this one and scale that down and you can use the correct dimensions if you need to you can alternatively um, line it up so that you don't have to scale it and you'll end up with a perfect circle as an end face if you treble click again and move you'll notice that it leaves behind the original line that we drew and you'll make sure you need to make sure you delete that so you can triple click and click delete because otherwise it will confuse with other parts of your model delete that and now the third part of the tour of the sphere so I can draw a circle and there are a couple ways you can do this uh, you can make a smaller circle by doing um, just drawing another uh, another circle from the origin the center it's the best is the best place uh, to get perfect dimensions I'm not using any so just roughly or you can use the offset tool like that which is this one over here now draw a small circle that's not the way I'm going to be doing it however I'm going to be going up here again until it goes green press shift and come back here 
this is a much faster way of doing things because otherwise you'll have to rotate it and then line up the centers next take follow me hover over this one till you get that blue spotty pattern and draw around the outside same problem can happen again and you can also end up with some weird shapes if you don't do it quite correctly so if you draw around the outside you'll end up with this sphere if you double click on that circle there it'll select it will select the whole circle inside just click delete and you end up with a really nice sphere that's going to end the tutorial right here I hope you'll be able to use these techniques to create more complex models uh, for instance you could stick a, a, a mouse onto the end of this cable and uh, you could even connect it up to a laptop or whatever you'd like Hopefully you'll watch another one of my tutorials and there'll be some more coming along soon. Bye for now.